we are going to explore this ginormous island. And we are off. It really is a big Buddha, it's more ginormous than big. The best beach in Phuket. Good morning from Phuket, Thailand. Today after the rain it seems to have finally passed, we are going to explore this ginormous island, or as much of it as we can explore as possible in one day on one bike, which probably won't be too much considering this island is around the same size as Singapore, so we're going to stick to the northeast, the west coast. I think we're going to check out a lot of the beaches along the west coast. I feel we've found possibly the best beach on the island if we can get there, and some more stops along the way. We do need to rent a bike first. I think we've found one already just across the road. Hi, uh, can we rent a bike, please? Yes. How much is it for one day? This is so cute. This is noise just on the side of the road. Um, it's 200 baht for one day. We, what we actually found out is the bikes in Thailand are faster. They're 125 cc, um, and we're used to riding 50 cc, I think, in the Philippines, which they're are like small ones. mopeds. So these are going to be much, much faster. 200 is the right price, but it seems like it was a good price. 200 it's seems pretty away. good, to be honest. We have partnered up with NordVPN to bring you the fastest VPN there is. And we never thought that we would need a VPN, but we were wrong. We were so, so wrong. A VPN is a virtual private network which allows you to protect your information online. NordVPN is super easy to use. It can be used for up to six different devices and there's over 5,000 servers in over 60 countries. That's crazy. But enough of the technical facts. Let's get into the most important benefits that there are. We really think that watching anything on your laptop or your phone is so so important for you on your downtime so you can use NordVPN to change your IP address to another country you know how sometimes uh, in certain countries some shows aren't shown um, so you can't watch them well if you use the VPN you can change your address and watch it often American TV is better than English TV um, don't quote me on that. So you can use the VPN to change it and then all your favorite TV programs should be there for you even when you're in another country. You can also use a VPN when searching for flights. We've noticed a lot that when we look for flights more than once, the price seems to keep gradually going up because they know that you're looking for the flight. It also depends on the country that you're looking at it from. So should you use the VPN and change it to another country, they don't know what your data is. Um, the VPN will change the data that the airlines use to to fluctuate the prices and therefore it helps you find the best deal. As I said, it is so easy to use. You literally just open the map, click on the location that you want and you will be connected in seconds. It really is that easy. NordVPN have an exclusive deal right now. Get a two year plan and four months for free by using our link. So make sure you click the link in the description and you can try it out for 30 days risk free with a money back guarantee. So it's a no brainer. You should definitely give it a try. It's helpful for us and it will be helpful for you. Um, let's get back to Thailand. Thanks NordVPN. And we are off. I actually am really pleased that they don't do the mopeds because Phuket is a very mountainous island so the roads are super super steep and then you go round and you need 125cc to get around. We actually think 200 baht is a very good price. Down on the Tong Beach they were charging 300 to 350 so I am very very impressed. Matt is doing well, you doing okay? Not too, it is so hilly. It is very so hilly. hilly and um, don't be one of them tourists that don't wear a helmet. Keep your helmet on, mine is these roads are insane. We are literally having to lean to get up the hill. The deepest of road is the biggest of Buddhas, I hope. And we've made it up the steepest of hills to Big Buddha, 45 meters high, made from Burmese marble. Definitely the biggest Buddha in all of Phuket. I don't think it's the biggest in Thailand, I might be wrong, but the views 
just walking up this outrageous pathway with views over Shalong Bay, Phang Na in the distance and pretty much all of Phuket you come to it is. It really is a big Buddha, it's more ginormous than big. I don't think gigantic or ginormous Buddha has the same ring as big Buddha. It really is massive, like, I don't think you can comprehend how big it is. The views are unreal and of course um, we didn't bring anything to cover up. You do have to cover up um, and I'm wearing... A very fashionable towel. A towel, a towel turned sarong. Buddha is incredible and so so impressive but I think these views are just a little bit better for me you can see literally all of Phuket I can even see PP in the distance you can see Krabi you can see absolutely everything I can even see some of the beaches that we're going to attempt to head to after this place wow the views are magical if you walk away from the crowds because it is actually free entry here um, but it's very very busy you can find a little spot like this and just take in all of this beautiful, beautiful island. We are back on the bikes, heading to our next stop, which, if our research serves us right, could be the best beach in Phuket. I'm not sure, don't quote us on that, we're hoping that it is, um, but our research wasn't that good because we've actually found out that it is in the other direction, so we're having to go back Good, apart from going the wrong way, <laughs> as usual. We have made it, well nearly made it, to Freedom Beach. This is supposedly, potentially, the best beach in all of the island of Phuket. It's a somewhat hidden beach, not the most well-known beach. It's also recommended that you go to this beach by long tail from town. Um, you can drop your bike at the Avista Hideaway and then hike, because the road is terrible and we basically got told to not go on our bike up here to the beach. It's better be worth it. We were wrongly advised. You probably could have driven up here. There's some car park in there. And then you do the 200 meter hike. This walk is hard, but beautiful. This really feels very secluded, doesn't it? Like pretty much in, in the jungle right now. I'm hoping the, uh, the beach is worth all this. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. We are nearly there. So there is a small gate um, for this route anyway to Freedom Beach. There are many different routes and supposedly some locals have bought the land that is above the beach. The beach is a public beach, but they've bought the land down to the beach. So to use the land down to the beach, it was 100 baht each, which was a little bit annoying. Um, there are supposedly public routes, but I have no clue where they are. So it's probably gonna cost you 100 baht now to get to Freedom Beach. Hundreds of steps later and I can confirm it was definitely worth it. This is spectacular, but we're not quite there yet. I'm on an old washed over tree and we need to get over another set of rocks to get to the main part of the beach. This is a more like rock pools and everything like that. This is the hardest to reach beach ever. Look at this place. This is, this is paradise. I'm not sure the height was the easiest, but... I don't even know if that was the right way to Well, we're do still it. not even there. We're still not even there, but doesn't this look like the Seychelles? These like rock, the rock formations, you've got the main beach, these rocks, the tiny beach, which if you had the tide out, would be unreal. And the very blue water. I can 100% say that it was worth the crazy hike over the rocks. I mean, look at this. I think we slightly got scanned. Yeah, I'm not we sure if that was the right down way. That led to an area that you're not even supposed to walk on. Yeah, I don't know about that, but it's definitely not a secret. I was expecting there's actually quite a few people here, but. I think they took the easy route down. They would have taken the easy route down. This is definitely the best beach we have found in Phuket by a long, long way. I think the fact that it's not built up, it's not commercialized, it is completely untouched, apart from a couple of shacks selling coconuts that makes it very, very special and the fact that it's so hard to get to that was a proper task there is unfortunately a little bit of plastic around I think because right now this time of the year the waves are huge and they wash so much up from the sea these waves are massive they are huge <laughs> Nearly 
going to come I know. Off. No one wants to see that. <laughs> it wasn't a scam after all. There is our path. Walking down to the rocks. Let's come this way. The easy way. We're so silly. The most beautiful lunch spot. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That beach really was exceptional. Hands down the best beach we have seen so far in Phuket, but we have driven further around the western coast of the island and we've made it to Caron Beach. This is again one of the more famous beaches in Phuket, somewhere that you can stay. If you don't stay in Patong, people will really stay in maybe Kamala, Caron or Qatar Beach, which aren't too far away from the main hustle and bustle of Patong or Phuket Old Town. Um, and it's beautiful. It's basically, I would say, a more beautiful Patong, not as built up. The sand looks a little bit finer and we found the nicest restaurant. This view is unreal. Unbelievable. We're at, I had to look at the name of it again. <laughs> we just stumbled across it. This is on the rocks. We are literally in the side of the cliff, looking over Karon unreal. Beach with a mango shake and food on the way. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't even like seafood, but I have taken a liking to the Thai prawns. This is Goom Sarong. So this is deep fried prawns they wrapped, so cool. wrapped in like noodles, crispy noodles. noodles. By the way, does everyone like my Thailand football <laughs> shirt? A little, uh, Repping little, Thailand. a little market bargain representing Chang. I don't oh even know God. how to eat this. They're so strange, aren't noodles. they? Look at really? that, it's just dripping with sauce. Okay, let's do this. Mm. Are they good? Why do I now love prawns? Like they are unbelievable. They're obviously deep fried, but they're wrapped in this. Look, it's almost like a crisp, crispy noodle. Now that was an amazing hidden gem. Would highly recommend it if you head this way. I actually got a Penang curry. Penang is another version of the Thai curry. It's kind of lemongrassy and coconutty. It was so, so nice, but I've just walked down the coolest walkway onto the beach. This, this is crazy. You have all these beach clubs and huge hotels here, and then these like Seychelles looking rocks. Well, I was about to say how beautiful and sunny it was and how the beach is lovely. The sea's a little bit rough, but I don't know if you can see behind me. That, that is coming. That's not night time. That is black, black sky and thunder and rain. That rain is definitely coming. I've got to be quick. Oh, am I up? I'm up. Whoa, that is slippery. Woo! It's slippery. <laughs> that is really slippery. Maybe too slippery. I'm on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, ow, ow, ow. It looks cool, the rock, but don't go on it. I've cut, ow, both my feet slipping. Probably a good thing, because the rain is coming. We need to get inside one of these bars. All restaurants very quickly, ow. And just like that, I think, fingers crossed, the storm has passed. The pain in my foot hasn't, Molly, my foot hurts. It serves you right. It does serve me right. Lesson of the day, do not walk on slippery rocks. But we were gonna go further south and check out some more of the beaches, Nai Horn and, what was the other one? Yanui. Yanui, um, and even to the very south of the island. But with this weather in the rainy season, I don't want to take the risk and ride for like another half hour, 40 minutes. So we're going to try and check out maybe one beach that's close to us. So possibly Qatar, maybe a viewpoint. I don't know. It's the rainy season. A quick five minute drive and we have decided to come up to the Caron viewpoint. You can see just behind me a glimpse of the viewpoint there over Katanoi, Kata Beach and of course Caron. Um, I mean the weather isn't changing too much so we're not going to be able to head any further south at all. So I think we're going to have to end up getting back into Patong. Um, but look at that, it is a pretty cool view. I think it's a very good view but uh, very busy and I don't understand why it's called Caron viewpoint when it's in or above yeah, I Qatar. I don't really get it. It's a shame that the weather has turned. I really wanted to see more of the less touristy beaches in the south, but that's 
to Patong. I think I just broke something. Thank you. Can I check the mother? Bike dropped, showered, and we are back in Patong. We just managed to avoid the rain. We done very, very well, but I didn't manage to dent my pride that far. That fall on the rock, it was not nice. But if you are looking to rent a bike, a scooter in Patong, Phuket, Patong really, you wanna go to Noi. On the beachfront, it is very expensive, but she went for 200 baht and she was lovely. The roads, absolutely amazing. Big Buddha, bigger than I even imagined. And if you only have the opportunity to check out one beach, Freedom Beach by a mile is the best beach in the whole of Phuket. I'm saying it, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for that because I'm sure there are amazing ones as well, but Freedom Beach, absolutely incredible. But we are now gonna chill, relax for the evening, heal my wounds from falling on the rock and hopefully check out a sunset. But we do have so much left to see and do in Phuket. We keep extending our time on this island. We are falling in love with it. So we'll see you in the next one from Phuket.